Hey there. Uh, I received a question about repurposing this uh, spreadsheet we did years and years ago at this point um, to, to handle put options and and which fields need to be changed to accommodate that. And it's pretty simple. Um, so in this example, we just did uh, call options. And remember the equation we're trying to solve here by this iterative scheme is the black Scholes price of the call minus the um, actual call price is equal to zero. What value of sigma, our implied volatility here, satisfies that? So it sets the, the call price, the actual call price C0 here to the uh, modeled call price, which is labeled here as call price Black Shoals. So it's just uh, changing this hit formula here to accommodate a put. So let's do that here. And just for the sake of clarity, I am going to change this to put. Um, and let's assume that the put price was the same price. Uh, where, where, where is it? So this is instead of C0, it's going to be P0. And our strike price, let's make it um, an out of the money put. So let's make it the 80 strike. So 80 uh, days to expiration, again in years, this happened to be 38 here. Our initial guess of the implied volatility uh, was 50%. So that's a guess. Remember, this is an iterative scheme. And now all we need to do is change this to the Black Scholes price of a put. And remember, uh, let me switch to, to the Wikipedia for uh, Black Scholes. So here's the price for a call. Here is the price for the put. So all we need to do is negate D1, take the negative of D1 and D2 and negate these two terms. So this term is minus for the put, this term is plus for the put, and then of course we put a minus sign between the D1s and D2s. So let's just do that here. Uh, call price. So our D1 and D2s are, are these lines here. So this becomes minus G2. That becomes minus that uh, normal distribution term. This minus becomes a plus, and then we put a minus sign here for H2. And that should do it. So let us see if it actually works. There is an issue somewhere. Uh, what's the issue? Minus. That should be a plus. That's a minus. That's a minus. That's the right formula. Um, zero Vega 191. Oh, this is so far out of the money that um, yeah this basically has a zero probability of reaching there so let's change it to um, 180 strike hopefully that fixes it yeah it does so we get all nice values for our put uh, black shoals put model and we get a final volatility here of about 25 and 25.7 percent so let's just verify that by switching over to our Jupyter Notebook. We did this in Python uh, some time ago where all we need to do is here is our objective function for the call. So all we need to do is basically change call price to put price because we wrote the put function farther up in this notebook. It's way up here somewhere. Where, where, where? Uh, here it is, put price. So let's come down here and we'll copy this objective function again. We'll just make this our put price. Uh, run that cell. Okay, our stock price was 190, was it 194.11? Let me uh, go back to the spreadsheet. Yes, 194 and our strike was 180. So K is 180. Our time till expiration was, I believe, 38 days. And this has to be in years, so it's 38 over 365. Let me double check that before I screw up again. Yes, 38 days. Uh, we took the risk-free rate to be 0 point, uh, 0 point 1%, 1%. So R is equal to 0 0.01. And we should be good to go. All we need to do now is call our function. Where do we call it? Here. So we just need to change. Yeah, this should just do it. We just call this function here. Oh, and we need to copy our arguments as well. I wrote this function to take a, a, a list of these extra parameters here. So args 
is this. Um, so this should be P naught and our P naught was 1.50 and that should do it. It does help to put an equal sign in. 25.7%. So I'm not going to bother uploading this to GitHub, this or the spreadsheet, because we've done it before. What I will do is put a link in the description um, below to this, the video where we did this notebook here, and the original spreadsheet uh, for the price, uh, for the volatility of a call option. So again, just this is just an impromptu video, so no intro, no outro. I will see you later.